Cisco UCS Fabric Interconnect. Firmware Troubleshooting. If one or both fabric interconnects fail during failover or firmware upgrade, you can recover them. In this video, I will show you how to recover your FI, even there is no working image on it. Let's go to lab and see the recovery procedure. Reboot the switch, press Ctrl L to get the loader prompt. Now we should boot the kickstart image from the TFTP server. To make this happen, first, we need to assign an IP address to MGMT interface. Now with boot command, we try to boot the kickstart from the TFTP server. In this phase of recovery, hit the init system command to reformat your FI and wait for reformat finish. It takes some time based on your FI model. Now we should assign IP address to MGMT interface again. Now we have to copy the kickstart system and Cisco UCS manager bin files into boot flash. You can do this using FTP or SCP protocol. For next step, Create separate directories for installables and installables slash switch in the boot flash. Copy the kickstart system and Cisco UCS manager images to the installable slash switch directory. If you don't have these three files, you can refer to Cisco website and search for UCS infrastructure and UCS manager software, download the bundle bin file, later, you can extract the bin file with many application like WinRAR. Let's back to lab, now this step is very important. Ensure that the management image is linked to this special file start with Nova, this special file is the name that the reserved system image uses, and it makes the management image compliant. Now everything is done, we need to reload the FI. The FI is recovered, and now we enter into wizard configuration, I will answer the questions and try to open GUI of Fabric Interconnect. Here is the final step, 
we log in into GUI interface of our Fabric Interconnect, we need to activate our new Kickstart and system images to make sure that FI is booted automatically. Let's do it. We go into the Equipment menu and choose Firmware Management. Select Fabric Interconnect. Through the Activate Firmware menu, we need to change the startup version of Kernel, Service Pack, and System to correct version, and then reboot the device. Now FI will boot automatically and fully recovered. That was the lesson about recovering FI, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you soon.